Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's good morning here in Jakarta, Indonesia. And we're on the last day of Indo Livestock. Indo Livestock Exposition 2024. 2024, yeah. Yeah, and it's been a brilliant two days. And mm. I'm very pleased to say we've got ourselves here early this morning just be, to beat the crowds. And I'm in the pleasant company of Desento Utomo, Dr. Desento Utomo, who is the uh, Vice President of Charon Pot Plant here in Indonesia. And listen to that. That's an okay. early, early call for the morning, isn't that? <laughs> this nice, the voice of the chicken in the morning. Yeah, chicken yeah. in the morning. And I think that represents what this show is all about. Yeah. The focus yeah. on chickens. Focus on poultry, yeah. And focus on poultry. What, what have you found that have been the most important aspects of the show? Because the most import, important message from the show is to encourage people to spend more money for having healthy food. Mm. Because we find that according to the survey, the family in, in most villages to spend more money for buying cigarette okay. instead of buying egg or buying chicken meat. Yeah. So this need uh, like a push to expose aim to improve the consumption of the poultry. Yes. Although we know that poultry is already, already contributing 65% of the animal protein source in this country. Mm, yeah. And there's, there's demand for more? Yeah. And, yeah. And the it's demand is small, yeah. but the potential is big. Mm. So that's why we are saying that poultry industry is still having a big future in this mm, country yeah and do you find that uh, technology is helping we i mean we have the show here yes we, we have... do we do uh, especially for the managing the when the farmer rearing the bird under closed house system not there's a big move from open sided housing system to the closed house system so it's improved the efficiency as well as reducing the mortality mm. And this uh, technology coming in, is it uh, just for the farmers or is it in feed production as well? Also for the feed production, we are having now, we are in some big companies, the feed mill in Indonesia, they have already been installing like the, what they call it, uh, infrared. Uh, analysis. NIR, yeah. NIR, near yeah. infrared in the system of the processing. Mm. So instead of having the final finished good of feed, mm. and then if the feed according to the lab is not under spec, yeah. so we block the feed. Now we are not having check in the end of the process, yeah. but in the step, every step of the process, yeah. we take sample automatically by NIR, yeah. and if our the spec is out of the spec, so it's the, the head turned to the okay. to the waste product. Okay. So not waiting until the end of the process and then we reject what we can control in the process of the yeah. feed manufacturing that's in a, the feed mill. And that's more obviously more advanced. Yeah. And you're finding that in other sectors of feed production as well? Yeah, we do us has also improvement in the in terms of quality of feed. Mm. So the Q the QC now not only checking the fin finished product but also the raw material mm. using near infrared. Right, yeah. So instead of spending half day or six hours to measure the lab result, now we are using near infrared only 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Yeah. The result will come out. It makes it makes a big big difference. It is a yeah. big jump. Yeah. You know. and, and can you tell us about uh, a little bit about the industry itself, the production that we is increasing, I, I would imagine. Yeah, since we we have about 110 feed mill under 44 can 44 companies, so we are now having improvement in terms of production. But because of purchasing power is mm. getting stagnant and less, so the, we are expecting the production of feed this year will be growth only three to five percent. Okay. But we are expecting next year, well, the elected president having free lunch. Yes. So we are expecting the improvement of the poultry, meat and chicken act to improve the consumption. So, so first, what is the tonnage, the annual tonnage here in Indonesia? The, the big challenge is we are having 
Raw material is still imported from such as so I've been real. We import from US or from Brazil mm. or Argentina and we are have facing weakening of the exchange rate rupiah to US dollar. Okay. So the import the import raw material not only having more expensive compared to the previous the beginning of this year the exchange rate only about fourteen thousand rupiah for one US dollar. But now sixteen Four hundred. Okay. So there is a challenge how we manage the imported raw material. We are asking to be having like free import duty to the okay. government. So we are being helped by the policy of the government to not to get to get free import duty right. for for some raw material. And yeah. indeed, this is is already. Already issued the policy by government, uh, so but we are expecting for us also raw other raw material. Yeah, so the government is very supportive of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and just uh, I, I asked a question, and maybe you missed it. Was how what is the total tonnage of feed in Indonesia? Feed produced last year about 21.5 million ton, yeah. and we are expecting at least 22 or 22.5 this year. Yeah. So we are growing about. Five percent. Yeah, you know, I, I looked last night, and the uh, population of Indonesia is mm. something like two hundred and eighty million. Yeah, and it's expected to go to three hundred and twenty. That's an extra forty million people by twenty fifty sixty, and that and that before yeah. it starts mm. tapering mm. off. Do you think the feed industry is meeting the challenge? In terms of the capacity, we do have what the ideal capacity. So although we are only producing feed about 21 million ton, mm. but the capacity is 30, almost 30 million ton yeah. per annum. Okay. So it means there is a large ideal capacity. So in terms of the capability to produce more feed, we are yeah. having that having the capability. But in terms of the raw material, we are still have yeah. wondering, yeah. like for the use of local corn. Because we are not ex expected to import the corn, yeah. instead we just keep using local corn. But local corn right now, in beginning of this year, in January, jumped from 6,000 to 9,000. So in yes. jumping 50% price. So we are wondering that about the raw material. In terms of manufacturing process, we are having the yes. capacity. Yeah. But the raw material is a big question. That's why we are pushing the government how do we improve the productivity per hectare? Yeah. Instead of only five ton per hour, per hectare, we are expecting to improve to eight or ten hectare, ten ton per hectare yeah. for the productivity mm. of corn yeah. in Indonesia. And that's a great step forward. I'm also wondering, have you been adversely affected by the Ukraine war in terms of your raw material costs or supply? Indeed, we are using wheat to support or to substitute corn if the corn, corn situation in this country is getting rare mm. and sorted, we are substituting with wheat. Usually we are importing from one of the country is Ukraine and yeah. Russia. Russia and Ukraine is two countries that we are affecting to represent black sea countries to mm. export to Indonesia. Mm. But since there is a Geopolitic situation, we are facing the transportation logistic from this country becoming much higher. So yeah. we are we are losing opportunity to have affordable raw material yeah. for yeah. feed meat. And is that being transferred right through to the consumer? That extra cost? Yeah, yeah. becoming logistic cost becoming increased. Uh, yeah. So it's also another additional cost we have to. Mm. It put into consideration because 85% of the fit cost coming from raw material. Yeah. Yeah. So raw material is really having contribution mm. in terms of the market fit price. Mm. Yeah. 85%. Yeah. Wow. Yes. I mean that's mm. fairly standard globally. So it has to have an impact. It has to be yeah. passed on yeah. somehow. Yeah. Um, so uh, does the, does the future look bright? Still, still, the future of poultry industry, including the feed mill, is still brighter yeah. for the next coming five years. Yeah. 
yeah. we are expecting to have a purchasing power increase and taking into consideration that Indonesia having still 5% economic growth yes. instead of minus we are still plus yes. 5% yes. Yeah. economic growth it means the purchasing power is still there yes. and the consumption right now for poultry meat about 12 kg per capita per annum max low yes. compared compared to Malaysia Singapore they are consuming about 45 to 50 kg per yes. capita per annum yes. they are still 12 so the, the future of the poultry industry including the feed mill industry in this country is still bright yes yeah. well that's good news to hear yeah and this event is every year so uh, it will be good to keep up with uh, that progress indeed but you're expecting two or three percent increase next year next year and then after that maybe back to more realistic more higher levels in the past about 10 years ago we are growing about two digit yeah. about 12 or 13 percent wow. 10 yeah. years ago yeah. before and then after having COVID Getting stagnant in terms of growth, but now we are still climbing and crawling yeah. to, get to improve the consumption of the poultry product. Yeah. Because the feed mill future is really depending on the poultry, yes, yes. poultry industry. Yeah. Because 90% of the feed mill producing poultry Pol feed. Poultry feed. Yeah. But I understand aquaculture, aquafeed aquaculture is growing is, as well. Is, is growing so much. Yeah. And even even growing better than the poultry. Yeah. But the total consumption of the aqua feed for fish and shrimp only ten percent compared with the whole yeah. the feed produced in this while country. While it's growing it's still a small still, proportion. Still small proportion. Less than yeah. two ten yeah. less than ten percent. Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, we've heard a lot, that's great to catch up like this. Mm. Uh, and obviously we look forward to having a catch up next year. But I must also mention that uh, Dr. Utomo, you're in the Feed Association here as yes, well, aren't you? Yes, I am the president of the Feed Association in yes, this country. Yeah. So you have a fairly good understanding of what's happening on the ground here. I hope so. And, and regionally, are you involved as the Feed Association with yes, others? Yes, we do have collaboration with the some feed association in this Asian Asian country, yeah. including Vietnam and Malaysia, Taiwan. We are having communication and sharing information regarding the raw material improvement, raw material price. Yes. We are having connection through USEC. Yeah. USEC really have yeah. help us a lot yeah. to go, to have communication among yeah. the feed mill association in this Asian yeah. region. And I do think this event uh, encourages international participation yeah. as well. If you notice about 38 international countries contributing mm. in this show. Yeah. So we are expecting to open eyes, open mind for government, for the yeah. farmers to understand that yeah. the technology already bringing some easiness to yeah. us. So why don't we use the technology, yeah. adopt and yeah. adapt? And, and finally, I was very pleased to hear at the opening ceremony your Director General of Agriculture saying mm. how important the international connections and yes. investment Indeed. is to Indonesia. Yes. Like you see the bread, bread stand over there? Yes. yes. One of our sister company, Poultry Equipment Factory, joined with bread stand and bread stand supply a lot of poultry equipment to be produced in this country. Yeah. Although some of the materials still imported, but we are able, CP is able to produce poultry equipment by itself. Yeah, excellent. Okay, well, thank you very much for spending You're so welcome. much time with us. Nice to meet you. And uh, all the best. And uh, we look forward to catching up again next okay. year with good news. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you.